Bonsoir, merci de vous retrouver nous sur la plateforme Télé Plus et Défi Santé. Ce soir, nous retrouvons nous dans l'hôtel La Bourdonnée, que nous avec nous le Managing Director de Miot International India, qui est Maurice pour une conférence sur un sujet bien particulier concernant un traitement sur le genou. Là, avec nous, nous avons le Managing Director de Miot International, le Dr. Pridvi Mohandas. Bonsoir, Dr. Hi. Uh, we continue the interview in English. Uh, so, uh, good afternoon, Doctor. Good afternoon. Uh, how are you? Welcome to Mauritius. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Can you do a, a quick introduction of yourself as the Managing uh, Director of Miot International? Sure. So, uh, I'm uh, the fourth generation doctor in my family. And uh, currently, I run a 1,000-bedded hospital in Chennai which used to be called Madras. And uh, the hospital has 63 different specialties and it is located on 14 acres and it is parallel uh, to the Madras International Airport. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us more about your visit here in Mauritius. Um, there's a conference uh, that will start just after this interview. So can, we, can you tell us more about it? So um, Mauritius is, uh, uh, a place that's very close to Indian hearts. Uh, I've been to Mauritius for the first time in 1992 as a medical student, just to visit. Uh, but off late, obviously, there's been a lot of exchange between India and Mauritius, uh, not just in the health space, but in various other sectors as well. Uh, recently, uh, we set up an information center in Mauritius for MIOT. And, uh, As a hospital, we receive patients from around 130 countries all over the world. This particular uh, program is to introduce a new kind of treatment that we think is cutting edge and very patient friendly, patient centric, and has the capacity to really transform people, whether they're early in their disease or late in their disease. Mm -hmm. It is about the uh, genicular artery embolization. Yes. Can you tell us uh, what it is about and for whom it is particularly uh, addressed? Exactly. So the word is a giveaway because genu in French is the knee. Yeah. And basically this treatment is for any patient uh, or any individual who has knee problems, particularly arthritis. Mm -hmm. And it addresses very early arthritis slows down the progression, mm -hmm. gets people back to completely pain-free activity mm -hmm. very quickly. And also it can address people who are very far down their disease. Perhaps some of them are very, very unfit and overweight mm -hmm. and they want to get their fitness back. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are people who are very scared of open surgery, yeah. scared to have an anesthetic, mm -hmm. or maybe their body is unfit, mm -hmm. or they have certain diseases that make it risky for them to have surgery, and this treatment can work wonders for them. Mm -hmm. So it is a mini invasive uh, uh, treatment. So can you tell us how it's done? Uh, yes, I think that uh, it's remarkable as to the lack of any opening whatsoever to mm -hmm. deliver this therapy. You could really say that it is pinhole uh, access mm -hmm. where through the size of a hole that is big enough just for a hair to pass through, oh. you could enter a blood vessel and then selectively block mm -hmm. the blood vessels that produce wear and tear in the knee. Um, also, there's no necessity for any anesthetic. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to stay overnight in the hospital. Uh, but the most important feature is that you get a relief straight away mm -hmm. and you can go back to fully normal activity straight away. The same day? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so can, uh, what can the patient expect uh, during this procedure and after? Patient selection is very important. Mm -hmm. You obviously can't offer this procedure to people who have sports injuries or ligament injuries. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is probably most effective in patients who have early or who are down the, uh, the stage of having arthritis right. in their knees. And uh, in terms of what people expect, really this procedure is tailor-made 
from a patient standpoint. Patients don't want to have an anesthetic, whether it is gas or whether it is an injection in their spine. Patients don't want to have open uh, surgery where you have to make a big cut to do an operation. Mm -hmm. Patients don't want to stay in hospital for prolonged periods of time. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't even want to stay overnight. Patients don't want a procedure that will be painful mm -hmm. and patients want full relief and instant return to normal activity. Mm -hmm. All of this they will get with genicular artery embolization. The recovery uh, aspect is very important as well. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. You can get back to business as soon. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, can you tell us more about the technology uh, behind uh, this approach? Mm -hmm. So, interventions via the vascular route, usually carried out by radiologists mm -hmm. who are labeled interventional radiologists, has been around for over the last 25 years. It's not something new. NEOT itself has had uh, the specialty of interventional radiology uh, for many, many years now, for mm -hmm. almost 19 years. Mm -hmm. uh, but recently, uh, we have seen that there are certain treatments that are acceptable to patients mm -hmm. and tick all the boxes that patients want to be ticked. Mm -hmm. Over the last four to five years, MIOT has year on year been voted the number one orthopedic hospital in India. Mm -hmm. So we see a lot of patients with knee problems and of course the number one joint in India to be affected with arthritis is the knee. Mm -hmm. We see patients very early in the disease, we see young patients, we see patients who are grossly overweight and of course we see very elderly patients as well mm -hmm. who are crippled with this problem. So in all these patients uh, with good patient selection this procedure can be carried out what exactly happens? The knee has a lining called the synovium. Mm -hmm. The synovium proliferates or grows erratically mm -hmm. uh, into a large structure, into a structure that becomes irritated, inflamed. Mm -hmm. This structure can destroy the joint. Mm -hmm. This structure by itself can produce severe pain. This structure can produce swelling. It can produce loss of movement. Mm -hmm. And obviously, it prevents you from walking mm -hmm. and from having a mobile, flexible knee. Mm -hmm. So the procedure selectively blocks the blood vessels mm -hmm. that cause excessive growth of the synovium. The procedure also blocks the nerves that supply the synovium. So not only do you get instant relief from the pain, you also get a shrinking of the synovium, thereby uh, resulting in less damage to the cartilage of the knee. Mm -hmm. less swelling and obviously an ability for you to continue normal activity without worrying about the pain coming back mm -hmm. and without worrying about this lining of the joint again growing bigger and inflamed. Mm -hmm. The huge advantage of this procedure that it's a one-off. You don't yeah. keep okay. having it done again and again. And in virtually most cases, it lasts for a minimum of three years. Mm -hmm. And you could come back and have it done again if you wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, doctor. And today you have a, a specialist uh, that came to Mauritius as well to explain yeah. Uh, yeah. this procedure. And what, what's next? You have an information center here in Mauritius. Yeah. Uh, how can people uh, go forward if they want to know more about uh, this uh, approach? I think uh, the thrust of this program is to encourage the cat labs that you already have in Mauritius to take up this procedure. All that you need for this procedure is a cat lab. Mm -hmm. You don't need an anesthetist, you don't need yeah. a recovery area, you don't need an ICU, and you don't need any physiotherapy. Okay. So you just need the patient in a cat lab, you need an interventional radiologist, mm -hmm. and you have several of those already in Mauritius and uh, you just need to know how to do the procedure. So the CME program that we're conducting under our experienced interventional radiologist called Dr. Karthi K. in Damodaran will uh, demystify how this procedure is done, mm -hmm. how to select patients mm -hmm. and why it works so well. Mm -hmm. Obviously this particular doctor who works full-time at NEOT is hugely experienced. He's been trained in the United Kingdom He's trained in the United States mm -hmm. for many years. He worked as a consultant in Singapore. Mm -hmm. And so with his over two decades of experience, this is a procedure that he can carry out in a very simple way 
And of course, it's easy for an experienced person mm -hmm. to teach a people who want to take it up mm -hmm. so that they can do it safely and effectively here in Mauritius. Mm -hmm. um, so as you tell us before, um, Miet International had their, um, their uh, information center yeah. in Mauritius since yeah. two years. Yeah. How is it going? Well, the information center principally is to help patients mm -hmm. who have conditions that cannot be treated in Mauritius mm -hmm. to access treatment overseas. Um, over the last few months, we've seen direct flights to Chennai. Uh, we've also seen the fact that people understand now that India has good quality delivery of health care, uh, as well as it is accessible and affordable. Amiot itself is a hospital that has 3,000 employees. All of them are full-time. It's a hospital that has 17 specialties yeah. of the national board being trained within the hospital. So it has a teaching hospital atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And the hospital basically caters to quaternary treatments. Mm -hmm. These are treatments that are not offered in many hospitals. Mm -hmm. All these are treatments in patients in whom several treatments have failed previously. Okay, okay. So um, this one is about orthopedic, but you have uh, many other specialties. Can you tell us more about maybe uh, neurology, yeah. cardiology? Sure. So every single uh, world famous hospital has always started off with one core specialty. Mm -hmm. If you take Cleveland Clinic in Ohio, it started off as a cardiology hospital. Mm -hmm. If you take the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, it started off as a bowel surgery hospital. Mm -hmm. Uh, so on and so forth. The list continues. So Miot started off as a single specialty hospital, the first trauma hospital in India dedicated to orthopedics. Uh, the rule always, since the time we started 25 years ago, was that all employees have to be full time. Mm -hmm. uh, we then realized that the patient who comes to you, maybe for orthopedic treatment or comes to you with a road traffic accident, also has other problems. Yeah that need treatment. So very quickly, within three to five years, we went from a hospital that had one specialty mm -hmm. to a hospital that had around 12 specialties. Mm -hmm. uh, but since we started a hospital in 1999, by the year 2012, we moved uh, in size from a 40 bedded single specialty hospital mm -hmm. to a thousand bedded 63 specialty hospital, mm -hmm. uh, which is what we are today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you talk about the history and the mission, maybe the latest technologies and innovation at uh, Miot International? Yeah, I think uh, every aspect of healthcare is looked at in terms of innovation in Miot. How can we innovate to not only give you the best technology and care, but also to give you health delivery without prejudice mm -hmm. and with integrity. Mm -hmm. These are the areas as well that we innovate in Miot. Mm -hmm. So much so that the entire management that runs the hospital in Miot has to live on site. Mm -hmm. So if you are the managing director of Miot, you have to live in the hospital. Okay. So I live along with my family in one of the buildings in the hospital. So I'm accessible at any time. Mm -hmm. uh, the food that the patients eat is the food I eat. The electricity that they use, the water they utilize is the same that I do. Mm -hmm. And so you have your finger on the pulse in case mm -hmm. something goes wrong. When it comes to innovating in terms of choosing technology and making it accessible and affordable, it's important to look at what patients really want, mm -hmm. what will they accept and therefore put their bodies or submit their bodies to, and also try to choose technologies, not simply for the sake of technology, but because they make a real difference. Mm -hmm. Further, one needs to have a good understanding of disease mm -hmm. to understand what to invest in in the long term, not just in technology, but also in skill. Mm -hmm. That way, India is truly blessed because in terms of both medical professionals like doctors and nurses, India also churns out a huge number of allied health professionals. Mm -hmm. And luckily for India, everybody speaks English, all their courses are in English. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it is possible for us not only to treat patients from our own country, but also patients who visit from other countries. From Mauritius. You have quite a few uh, patients from Mauritius as well. Yes, we do. Uh, it's not the number one country that's uh, sending patients yeah. to us, but yes, uh, I think because of the 
close cultural and political relationship that India shares with the wonderful and beautiful island of Mauritius. We have always had, uh, you know, a lot of uh, trade between the two countries. A lot of health professionals in Mauritius in the past have been educated in India. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are a lot of synergies uh, that exist between the two countries, mm -hmm. uh, thereby making, uh, you know, travel to India uh, not as worrisome or, uh, or anxiety yeah. inducing as it would otherwise. They do know the country as well. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, they do. I mean, the, there's a lot of similarity in food. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of similarity in our tastes when it comes to music, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Et so I think that helps to break down the barriers mm -hmm. when it comes to accepting and adopting treatment. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you for according us this interview. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, merci beaucoup. Nous, uh, nous utilisons la plateforme Télé Plus et Défi Santé. Uh, nous pouvons enchaîner avec la conférence de Miet International. Donc, le thème est gen Genicular Artery Embolization et uh, nous pouvons faire uh, la suite de ça. Merci beaucoup et restez connectés sur notre plateforme. Au revoir.